Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of random, I hope you are ready. Yo. The random tournament is back. Save the date, February 8th. I'm sure most of you know the drill by now, but for those of you who are new to the random tournament, you'll be competing over four days in epic battles to climb your way to victory and earn those tasty rewards. Three losses and you are out of here until the next day and then you will gain an extra life per day, giving you a total of six attempts. So you need to carefully select five decks that you feel confident that you can get the win with my guys. Key units can only be picked once for all five of your decks guys, so for example you can only pick Blade Dancer once in all five of your decks. Be wary of that, strategy is key. And remember, your opponent gets to block two of your five decks at the start of each battle. M -m 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 moving on to modifiers, adding an insane twist to the classic PvP battles with these awesome in-game modifiers. Earn points for actions in game guys and modify yours or even better your opponent's board. Granting such things as extra mana or the petrify spell to cover your opponent's highest merge unit. Right then guys I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. I'm going to tell you all about my strategy for the Rush Royale Random Tournament. When creating my 5 decks I'm going to be making 3 super strong decks that I am super confident in that I know that I can win with no matter what I come up against with a reason and then I create two super toxic decks that my opponent just couldn't bear facing and nine times out of ten or five out of six in my case guys because I didn't quite make it to that ten victory unfortunately but five times out of six them opponents were blocking my toxic decks and I was free to use my super strong decks so bear that in mind guys see what you can do with it let's quickly jump into some of the decks that I think could be really strong for the random tournament guys moving into the first one we have Riding Hood Statue Dryad Witch Summoner very good very strong deck you can move the Riding Hood around so you don't have to worry too much about them negative effects coming over to your board as you can move it out of the way Second up, we have Sea Dog, Shaman, Harley, Mime, Summoner. That is one of those super toxic decks that your opponent just really doesn't want to put up with. It really can't cope with. So let's get in there with that high damage Sea Dog and that disgusting Shaman. Coming in in our third place, my favourite deck, Cultist, Sword, Dryad, Harley, Summoner, guys. Get them Cultists in the centre, get them up to the 10, and you're going to be able to go the distance. You know how it works. You've all seen it enough on my channel. Get it a rock in. Super strong, super speedy, it's Blade Dancer, guys. Coming in with a nice statue dryer, scrapper, and trapper to making sure you're getting rid of them statues that you don't want and getting them lovely merges that you need on your lovely Blade Dancers. Next up, we have the newest addition to Rush Royale, my guys, and that is Genie. Using it with the sword, summoner, Harley, and dryer to get them level ups, get them lamps and get looking lovely. Make sure you use it to the full effectiveness. Next up we have good old reliable Demon Hunter, Sword, Witch, Harley and Dryad getting them Demon Hunters to the 10, getting them to the 40 and then Gift of the Raven which is increasing that damage dramatically. Next up we have the new and improved Inquis, Sharpshooter, Statue, Dryad and Scrapper my guy. Sharpshooter for that little bit of toxicity and the new and improved Inquisitor is just lovely. It's just performing absolutely wonderful now. Dark Inquis or Light Inquis, take your pick, you'll be doing the work. Okay then, last but by no means least, this is a bit of an honourable mention as I just saw it everywhere doing the absolute most amount of damage last time. And it is Hunter Stasis, Dryad, Harley, Trapper my guys. It just seems to be doing the work, getting them lovely high merge hunters keeping things back stasis stopping things in their track and trapper helping with the defense drops so that is all from me about the random tournament coming to you february 8th guys mark the calendars don't forget it so get out there get ready get practicing and i'll see you live on twitch february 8th 9th 10th and 11th with all my random battles good luck and may the best player win